you will need baking soda hydrogen peroxide pure honey and aluminum foil mixing bowl and a brush to mix and apply I've already poured some um, baking soda and some hydrogen peroxide in here I don't really have specific measurements you just want to kind of eyeball it and see what you need um, I've done this so many times and I always eyeball it and it always comes out the same you basically just want it to look like a paste okay so I've already poured some um, hydrogen peroxide in here but I have not poured some of the um, honey so just want to add a little bit of honey just a tad bit there we go and mix together okay, this is a little too light so I'm gonna add a little bit more baking soda It should look something like this. Okay. It really doesn't matter if it's a little bit more liquidy than this or a little bit more pasty. It doesn't matter. Like I said, I've done this so many times and it looks different every time and the results are always the so same. This will be my extensions that I'll be coloring. This is actually my um, Bobby Boss U part wig. And I am only going to color half of it. I'm only going to color the top half of it so it can match in with my um, natural hair color. If I can get this to set. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you want to do this to all of the hair or whatever hair as much as you want to color. Okay, so I am all done with this section. So all I'm going to do is fold the aluminum foil and close it. So that the heat can stay in there and it can color properly. I'm going to do this to all sections of the hair that I want colored and then um, I will come back in 30 minutes. I'm only going to leave this on for 30 minutes. The longer you leave this on the lighter it's going to get. It won't really get too light. I think light brown is as far as it goes but I'm going to leave it on for 30 minutes. I'm going to shampoo the hair, con deep condition and then I will come back to show you the ending results.